Hello traders, good afternoon to you. Join me as I take a quick look at what my expectations is going to be on the US hoya as we head into the new week. Since the breakdown of the bullish of the bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame, we have been seeing a downtrend momentum as price continue to find lower lows and lower high. As we head into the new week, what is going to be my expectation? After looking closely into what has been happening in the last couple of weeks, we noticed how price broke down that strong demand zone during the course of last week's trading session at around $97 area, and price appears to be doing a retest into that level. We can see the first retest of that level. We saw the second one. We saw multiple rejection around this area before we saw a breakout of that structure. Though um, we can see that we have sharp rejections of that area, considering the shooting star candle we saw in the last in the last in the last hours of last week trading session. Now going into the new week, what is going to be our expectation? Are we going to be expecting price to continue to the downside from this area or are we going to be seeing a breakout of structure that is a breakout of this area, a retest of structure, probably the key level at $97 area before we see that bullish momentum which to me at this point in time could be temporary as we do have a bearish trend line around this area which could reject price to the downside from this area or are we going to be seeing a possible breakout of that trend line to send price to do a retest of the bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame around here? Now, you might be asking me what is the bullish trend line we identified on the daily time frame. Let's go to the daily time frame and let's see what that is. We can see what we have here on the daily time frame. We can see that that bullish trend line has been respected since the beginning of the year as price continues to respect that bullish trend line, emphasizing the bullish momentum that has gripped the US oil market. However, the breakdown of that bullish trend line in the month of um, June stroke July has probably shift the scale of momentum and we have, we've been seeing a bearish momentum since the beginning of the month. So we might be looking forward to price coming back to do a retest of that bullish trend line which I explained earlier on the one hour time frame before we see a trend continuation to the downside or price could probably break back above and continue the bullish trend, trend scenario. So going back to the um, one hour time frame, which uh, is it the one hour? Okay, the four hours time frame, I guess. Um, okay. So I want to scale down to a much lower time frame to, to see what structure has been given us in the last one week. And let's use that to take, to decide what we're going to be doing as we head into the new week. So I want to be deleting this to have a clearer picture of what we're talking about. So we saw our price has come back to do a multiple rejection of that trend line that was broken here. We saw this bullish trend line, the black line on your screen. We saw the breakdown of that trend line here and price appears to do a rejection of that trend line once. And then we have one around this area, which also shares a confluence with the bearish trend line that has been identified since the beginning of the month, the red dotted line here. So. Um, the possibility of price coming down from this area appears to be high at this area as we can see that we have a very strong sensitive confluence around that area which shares a confluence with the bullish trend line here and the bearish trend line at this point. So my perspective going into the new, to the new week is more of a bearish momentum as I will only be taking a bullish momentum if I see price break above this level. Um, I see a significant breakout of this level, a retest of that, if that is bullish trend line or this bearish trend line or probably the key level we identify at $97 and look out for patterns on lower time frame that supports a trend continuation to the upside, which I said um, the, the, the bearish trend line we identify here could be our first take profit target on this one. So let's see how price plays out during the new week. I'll be pausing the video at this point and be rest assured that um, um, I will be doing an update in the early hours of the new week to see 
if I have noticed something or probably a signal and confirmation that supports a, 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 a potential momentum for the week. If this video has, has been of immense help to you in making your own individual decision as we head into the new week, kindly support me by liking this video. You will also want to follow me on my TradingView account so that you don't miss out on the regular updates I normally share in the comment section of every video. Thank you for watching and do have a wonderful day. Bye bye.